Hello guys, I'm Pickles Parker, and today I will be giving you my move reaction for Maze Runner to Death Cure. Enjoy! <laughs> Runner the Death Cure. Now, I'm very split on this movie if I'm honest. There's things I like and things I very much don't like and things I think make no sense. Um, I really liked the first Maze Runner movie. I really did. I thought it was pretty good, but I really didn't like um, Scorch Trials. It was a very boring movie and just felt really bad. Um, it was length and out, like I said, really boring. Didn't really feel like I had any elements um, that uh, connected to the first movie. And yeah, it just wasn't a very enjoyable experience. But yeah, this film came out, there's been a bit of a gap between this and the Scorch Trials. And what did I think of it? Well, there are things I like and things I didn't like. Um, what I like is the, uh, the final city. That was really cool. I really like the whole wall. I like the hospital there. I like how things are run. It's really nice to explore that. And I like people on the outside. I like the way that we have the outsiders here. And the people inside the city. I really liked it. And I thought that was really cool. At the end, the explosions, um, and just the whole everything inside the city, I kind of liked. I thought that was really cool. And I liked the whole rebels and that kind of thing. Um, I liked Newt um, in this film, he was pretty cool, I liked him, and I thought it was an improvement on the score trials, mm. there was nowhere near as good as the first one. Things I didn't like, Thomas, I found him very annoying, and the whole, the whole Teresa situation got on my nerves to be honest, like because you keep on thinking, is she good, is she bad, is she good, is she bad. The film keeps on telling you she's bad, no she's good, no she's bad, no she's good. You just like make up your mind. And at the end it still doesn't make up its mind. And there are things that really make no sense in this film. For example, why is Newt randomly turning into a zombie. How did Gally survive? Things like that, they just don't make sense and you get no explanation for them. Which I think is really quite annoying. Um, and it is annoying because I think that explanations would need to be there, especially Gally coming back. They really give no explanation for that. So that's very annoying and there's a ton of things in the trailer that wasn't cut well, that was cut out that um when the uh, evil woman i can't remember her name says you can save your friends or you can save us all that line's not in the actual trailer no it's not in the actual film which was in the trailer um which is a bit annoying i hate it when they put things in the trailer and it doesn't make it into the final cut and Things like that, I, I found it very irritating that things like that didn't make sense. And I think the whole Teresa thing, that annoyed me. But Newt was my favourite character in this movie, I really liked Newt. And everything in the city, um, with them breaking into the hospital, I really, really liked. That was epic. Um, I did generally quite like this movie, uh, thinking about it now. I think that everything in the city with them rescuing Ni Mino and everything, that was a uh, very cool. I liked that. That was fun. But the Teresa thing just got on my nerves. Thomas was alright, but he tended to get on my nerves. And just things that didn't make sense, that kind of annoyed me. 
So yeah, there is one scene that I really didn't like. It's the end scene where Newt was writing a letter to um, Thomas. And at the end, it says, from your friend Newt. But the shot that is shown as Newt reads that part is Thomas carving Teresa into the rock. That really annoys me, probably more than it should. But they should have had in that final shot him carving Newt into that rock, not him carving Teresa, because that just really uh, ruins the whole um, final scene for me. It makes no sense, I really don't like it, because the shots were ruined. They turned the thing with Newt, him carving Newt into the wall, into the stone, that would have worked really well, but just keep a Teresa in it, it makes no sense, it really ruins the scene. I kind of like this movie, I kind of don't. It's definitely a step up from the Scorch Trials, but no, mm, nowhere near scratches the original Maze Runner. I'm going to give it a 6.5 out of 10. It's got things I like, things I don't like, and it's just above average, but it's nothing special. A decent um, end to the Maze Runner trilogy. But really, it, uh, nothing tops the original. Please like this video um, if you have enjoyed it. And if you want to see more content from my channel, then please hit subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. And of course, a goodbye. Hello, Garen Adams. So, Asylum of the Daleks. I always feel that this episode gets too much hate than it deserves. Maybe that's because... It was the first series opener I watched on broadcast, with me joining at the end of series 6. Sure, the Amy and, the, and Rory divorce um, crap is a completely unneeded and the classic dialects are wasted, yet I love the concept behind the Dalek Asylum. Matt Smith is brilliant as always and Jenna gives a good performance as Oswin, although I find the character annoying. Although the dialects forgetting the Doctor is pointless, I love the very end scene when the Doctor and the TARDIS uh, shout, Doctor Who. Overall, a flawed yet enjoyable and slightly nostalgic story for me. I give a sum of the Daleks a 7 out of 10.